design, implementation and validation of a multi-purpose localization service for cooperative multi-UAV systems. Introduction Multiple UAV systems can perform missions in unstructured environments, such as in disaster relief operations, and to accomplish missions with reduced computing and time costs. Compared to a single UAV system, a multiple UAV system can benefit from greater accuracy and efficiency due to their resource heterogeneity, as well as better accessibility, robustness and scalability. However, the proper functioning of these systems requires stable communication among the multiple devices, which brings high complexity for both simulation and real experimentation on the field. The communication among the EVs is crucial, as it can allow them to know each other's location. This feature is possible to be used in different ways, such as in collision avoidance, that enables a better mission planning and guarantee a safer flight, decreasing the chances of collisions. In light of the importance of sharing position among EVs members of UAV teams, this paper presents a novel approach of position estimation of neighboring EVs having shared information through wireless communication media. This proposal uses linear estimation with curve fitting in order to predict nodes positioning having historical data received by neighbor members of the UAV team. The proposal also contributes in the aspect of being developed as general-purpose service that can be used by other applications that need positioning information to run correctly. In order to evaluate such method, a simulation is performed in ROS and Gazebo environment to set up and to test a cooperative mission. After that, on-the-field experiments are performed, following the setups previously tested in the simulations, to validate the effectiveness of the proposed method. In order to evaluate such method, a simulation is performed in ROS and Gazebo environment to set up and to test a cooperative mission. After that, on-the-field experiments are performed, following the setups previously tested in the simulations, to validate the effectiveness of the proposed method. The main contributions of this paper are the proposal of a positioning estimation service as infrastructure to support higher level services in cooperative UAV teams. A methodology to plan multi UAV missions tested in simulations that provide support for the real world missions on the field. A complete validation setup, composed of simulations and on the field experiments. This work proposes the development of a localization service that can be used to provide localization data to UAV teams working together in cooperative missions. In this proposal, each UAV needs to know its own position and share it with its neighbors, using post packets. These neighbors can be called nodes of a network in which the EVs are connected. The global localization is of primal importance for applications involving multiple vehicles because it can be used to avoiding collision among vehicles, besides many other utilities. The present proposal assumes that the, the plan of the missions that will be performed by the EVs need to be known. The proposed service is composed of two main components. A pose sharing component and a pose estimation component. The pose sharing component is responsible for reading the own pose of each flight controller unit (FCU) in each UAV and sharing it with us by broadcast using a 3DR telemetry radio installed in each vehicle. For this, a package was developed using the ROS framework. Designed to work on embedded hardware coupled to the vehicle, this package has to be executed in combination with the MVROS package 
which communicates with the FCU equipped with the latest version of RUPILET firmware. The POSE sharing module is intended to share the POSE of each vehicle to all other members of the group. However, due to communication problems that may occur during the performance of the missions, data packages with positioning information may be lost. This loss of packages can hide the future movements of a specific vehicle for a certain instant of time from the global maps constructed by each UAV with the localization of its neighbors, thus, making the vehicle's pose hidden from others, causing certain gaps that can negatively interfere in the performance of a mission or even cause possible collisions among the vehicles. To solve this problem, our work proposes the use of a pose estimation component in the proposed service. This component, through the known model, plan, of the mission, to be performed, and the speed at which the vehicle moves, can estimate the pose of its neighbors based on a smaller amount of pose messages previously received. This way, it becomes possible to avoid the above-mentioned gaps in positioning and make the visibility of the vehicle's pose constant, even when communication errors occurs. The method of pose estimation is based on curve fitting. For a given set of data, the fitting curves of a given type are generally not unique. However, the least square method can be used to find the best fitting curve with minimum deviations from all data points. Least square method assumes that the best curve fit for a given set of data is the one with the minimum sum of deviations, least square error from a given set of data. The experiments were performed in three different steps, planning, simulation, and the on-the-field runs. First, a cooperative mission was planned to be used in both simulated and real vehicles. In this mission, the IVs were arranged in a straight line with a spacing of 10 meters between them. During the mission, the vehicles traveled in this straight line for a distance of 100 meters, going back and forth to the starting point for four consecutive laps. As the takeoff of the three IVs is not simultaneous, the distance between them is not exactly the same, there is a small difference. The takeoff point is highlighted in red color. After traveling all the trajectory, the IVs move to the home point, takeoff point. In this experiment, due to the positioning of each UAV during the mission, failures in the communication system may occur, this assumption will be explored in the analysis of the results. After planning the mission, the flight plans were created and loaded into simulated and real vehicles using the ground control software. This interface is also used to start the execution of the missions. From the planned mission, simulations were carried out using the Gazebo simulator together with the set of tools provided by the Flight Controller PX4 firmware package. During the simulations, the pose data of each vehicle was collected and served as a basis for the acquisition of the movement models that can be used in the pose estimation as shown in these graphics. In this models, the X and Y axis are shown in a UNI dimensional way. As the planned mission has a constant altitude, the Z axis is not considered in the experiments presented in this paper. From these acquired movement models, the estimation algorithms are adjusted. Field experiments were performed on December 19, 2020, at Caro Club, in the city of Alvarada, state of Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil, shown in the figure on the left. During the experiments, the vehicles performed the same missions planned and simulated as explained before. The three vehicles used in the field experiments are shown in the figure on the right. Each vehicle is a 3D RIRS plus quadcopter equipped with a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B plus and a 3D R telemetry radio as a communication channel among the vehicles. It is important to highlight that the same firmware used to perform the simulations is installed on the real fly controllers. The proposed software installed on the Raspberry Pi embedded computer reads from the PixHawk Fly Controller Unity the position data analyzed in this experiment. 
All the data of these field experiments has been recorded in ROS bag files to be used as log files in the post-mission analysis. The figures on this slide demonstrate at different angles the trajectory traveled by the OS during the execution of cooperative mission in the field. Results The complete trajectory traveled by the OS during the execution of the field experiments can be observed in this figure. The green points represent the F0 trajectory, the blue points represent the F1 trajectory and yellow points represent the F2 trajectory. The performed mission results figure contains 9 graphs. Each graph has the representation of all messages collected during the experiment for the position axes X and Y, in blue and green points, respectively. The continuous thin red line represents the result of the position estimates reached with the execution of the proposed solution. The IVs identifications in the columns IV0. F1 and F2 represent the destination of the messages, where they are being collected and used for the estimation. The identifications of the IVs in the lines IV0, IV1 and IV2 represent the origin from where the positions are being collected and sent as broadcast messages. The graphics contained in the location of the main diagonal, example line IV0, column IV0, represent the information read from IV0 to be sent to its neighbors. The same holds for the other IVs. It is possible to notice that IV0 and IV1 had a great position prediction on each other, even when there was missing position data messages. The curve with the position prediction match almost exactly the real position data, apart from a few point at the beginning and at the end, during the takeoff and the landing, respectively. The F2 position estimation by IV0 and IV1 was not as good as the estimation of IV1 by IV0, because the number of points, especially for IV1, was too low. Even with the proposed estimation algorithm, it was not possible to achieve a good precision on the position prediction during the whole mission. The IV0 and IV1 position prediction curve of the IV2 was below average comparing with the other's curves, however, it is possible to notice that the amount of data in these two curves are lower than in the other curves. Due to the IV2's movement style, and due to the fact that the takeoff times are different, it can be assumed that the number of messages received on the network was not enough to maintain the communication flow to be able to build the correct representation of the IV2 trajectory. However, F2 could more easily track the trajectory of its neighbors. Thus, if applied an intelligent positioning technique, these representations of the trajectory of the neighbors of F2 could be used to bring F2 closer to its neighbors, improving the communication flow. From these findings, it can be seen that the proposed service must behave in an appropriate way to support flights in formation with fixed distance or in a determined distance range between Fs. This table shows the relative root mean squared error RMC, for all sets of data of the field experiments presented in this work. RMC is used to evaluate the model and it measures the prediction error of the proposed method for position estimation.
When the RMSI value is less than 10% the model accuracy is considered excellent, when RMSI is between 10% and 20%, is considered good. The results present are all in the excellent classification, except for one, which falls into the good classification, and this can be attributed to the fact that this is the one with fewer data of its neighbor, which increased the difficulty of predicting its neighbor position. However, even with less data, it still falls into a good classification, losing the excellent one by less than 3 points, which proves the low error of the proposed method in estimating the position of a neighbor UAV. Conclusions This paper proposed a positioning estimation service as an infrastructure to support higher level services in cooperative UAV missions. In this proposed service, each vehicle on a UAV network gets knowledge of the position of its neighbors by exchanging positioning messages. The AVs were able to update this knowledge even if there are failures in the communication channel between vehicles, by means of a pose estimation module part of the proposed service. In this proposal, the simulations were used to acquire the positioning models for the AVs and the planned missions. These motion models were used in the step of identifying the parameters that make up the mission plane curves. After the identification, the parameters were configured as an input to the proposed estimation module. Afterward, during the execution of the real missions, it becomes possible to know the position between all vehicles avoiding the gaps caused by failures in the communication channel between the vehicles. A complete cycle from the mission planning to the real flight, was presented, showing that the proposed service is capable to provide reliable positioning data to the UVS members of a cooperative team. The acquired results provide evidence that the service is useful to support higher-level mission-related software that rely on positioning data. Future work focuses on the analysis of other estimation techniques to improve the position estimates for missions with irregular trajectories. Also, other hardware solutions should be evaluated to compose the communication channel between us to reduce the number of packets lost in the broadcast communication. Here are some references used in the production of this work. The authors would like to thank the Brazilian research funding agencies CNPQ and CAPES for the support provided to the research here reported. Thank you all for your attention. For more information about our work, visit www.ufrgs.br/usrl.